Welcome Scratchers to this quick tip to help improve your games and programs. Today we're looking at Scratch's ghost effect. Watch this whole screen fade out and fade back in. The stars fade away until they disappear. You can see right through Red Ball's ghost. And Griff Patch's apples, when they get eaten, they slowly disappear. Many times in our games we need to remove something or add something and it can look even better if we make it fade in and out instead of just disappearing. Sometimes it's not fading in or out, it's just transparent. You want to be able to see through it a little. In Scratch, we use the ghost effect to accomplish all these things. These are the three blocks that you'll need for the ghost effect. When you're selecting the blocks it's going to say color, you want to change that to ghost. Instead of change color effect, you change ghost effect. Instead of set color effect, you set ghost effect. If you set the ghost effect to zero, there's no effect, and so it doesn't do anything. Right now we're on the start button. If I want to just halfway ghost this out, I'll say 50. So now it's, it's kind of transparent. If I want it to completely disappear, the ghost effect is 100 to make it completely ghosted out. If I clear that, it'll come back. If I just want to change it by 10 every time, right now there's no ghost effect. It adds 10, adds 10 more. So I would click this 10 times to get 100% ghosted out and gone. Here we have code that adds a ghost effect to Scratch Cat until he disappears and then takes away the ghost effect until he appears again. And it's in a loop to make him just keep disappearing and coming back. If I stop that, you can see that the ghost effect down here, this is him 50% ghosted. He's 80% ghosted, almost completely gone. And 20 makes him just barely where you can see through him. In this breakout game, the start button's there, and when I click on it, it just disappears. If I would like the effect to make the start button slowly fade out, I could just change the ghost effect by 10, 10 times. And I wouldn't need that hide anymore. And it fades out. That looks a lot better. In my pizza clicker game, these pizzas flying out are a little bit transparent. And this white rectangle behind all the ingredients is transparent. The code for those tiny pizzas flying out has the ghost effect. I used set ghost effect. I set the ghost effect to 40. And then this rectangle, it's just this rectangle right here, that white rectangle. I didn't want it to completely block off my tablecloth. I set the ghost effect for that to 30. I just didn't like the way it looked when it was completely white. Let's change the code in my ultimate palm game and make the star slowly disappear instead of just disappearing all of a sudden. In the code for the star, when the ball touches it, we won't immediately go to a new place. We'll change the ghost effect in a loop. And then once it moves, we clear the ghost effect. So now when it touches the ball, it slowly gets ghosted before it goes to a new position. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. Remember to add the ghost effect to your games and make them seem even more professional. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.